Hey guys, what's up? Hey. It's today for me from Village with the Lord. Today's video, I'm going to start by meeting off with someone and let's go to see you. How are you doing, Erta? I'm fine. I'm in vacation, I'm going to Stikisolmur. Yes. Do you know where the hell we are now? We are in Borganes. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And you are going Plontos, isn't it right? Yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Have a good trip, you too. Yeah, I didn't expect to see you at all. No, I am going to with my family. My nice. husband and children and grandchildren. It's that's, very, very fun. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. We were at a fucking swimming pool. Yeah, where are we now? Now we are in a city called Blöndos, in the northern west part of Iceland. Nice. Yes, very nice. Yeah, we were at a swimming pool and I'm going to give you my opinion on it. Um, there's nothing really special to do with the birds, but I rarely go to a fucking swimming pool nowadays, so it was nice. Mm -hmm. Should I say something about it? Oh, let me, let me finish okay, first. Okay. Oh, I did go to the hot pot and that was nice. Mm -hmm. Believe that. Yeah. It was comfortable, but I also swam quite a lot, and the only downside is that I had no fucking swimming goggles. Swimming glasses? Yeah. Yeah, I can lend you it next time. Alright, oh, and also, after we were turning the swimming pool, I went, I ate an ice cream, and that, and caramel ice cream, and that was nice. Okay. But go ahead, now it's your turn. Okay, the, this was the swimming pool in Plantos, and I find it very good. Mm -hmm. They do have a 25 meters long swimming pool to swim in, and hot tubes, and what more is, because I love to practice that, a cold tube around four to six degree Celsius. I see. And I was there for three minutes and I love nice. it. Nice. Yeah. And I think it's very valuable in Icelandic cities all around the country to have swimming pools. I love it. And I think we are very lucky and very rich to have all this water for the swimming pools. So. Yeah. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Do agree. I'm very awesome that you came with me because you don't go so much to swimming pools. You used to do it when you were a kid, but then you quit it. So I was very happy that you were ready to join me to the swimming pool. But I do occasionally go to swimming pools, but it's very rare nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are at the museum. What's the name of the museum? The, the museum here is... Uh, Kvenna skólin. Yeah, I see. It is a school for women. For women. It was from 1879 to 1978. 99 years. Nothing different. But this is not, you know, this is not the school. This is a program we are working with now. Yeah, this looks very nice. Vastala yeah. on history. Yeah. History from from Vastala. From from Vastala. The interesting. Area here. South. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. And we are many people coming here and work with this. Are those popular history figures? Make some if you like. No thanks. <laughs> are those are those important historical figures? Say it again. Are those important historical figures? Yes. It's a very famous story. And it's a project Vastaila on a tapestry. And the idea comes from your aunt Johanna Palmadóttir á Akri. I see. So you can mm -hmm. be very proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, is that Ingolur or Norshon? Oh, I don't know how it was. I don't know the pibus. <laughs> Is no, 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 comic or, or a book like they used to have it without words only pictures but it's a it's a Icelandic saga 
Yeah. saga. So it's worry. So yeah. they don't see any speeds, but I wouldn't exactly say that this is a comic, but this is not actual. a comic, no, it's a, a animated, you know, minted. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. So this is chapter 21. Yes. Nice. The first people came from Norway. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And uh, we're living here in the area. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, like she said, we are in wow. women's school. Right. There are photos fucking everywhere about women. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 As you can see, this is a school for women. Here yeah, there are photos of them everywhere. So, I guess we are now in the principal's office. No, no. Ekki skóla, no, no. This is museum. This is only pieces from the school. Oh, I see. It's a old things, like this piano. Yes. It's just the, the similar to the piano that was in my home when I was a little, little girl. And this shelf, you see it? It's like the shelf Heida has gotten from her grandma and grandpa. I so see. it's a beautiful old thing. So I, I get nostalgia when I see it. Hold on a minute. Are you sure this is the principal's office? Because this looks like... An office table too. Yeah, it's the same. Can you see that the in a No. It's just a museum, so it has been refurnished. But they are showing all the old things. I I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is nice. Very. Yeah, wow. This artwork looks amazing. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 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 let's see. But if you want me to say so, so you can translate some of the text, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, ah, great. Here's uh, about this museum. Okay. Uh, it's a women's college exhibition. <laughs> yeah. He wants to have everything in English. Yes. The, these rooms contain furnishing, paintings, photos. Show this while I talk. And personal items from different periods of time. Most of them gifts from former students. These objects were in the classroom and elsewhere in the house. So they were collected together here. And nice. this, this falcon, this bird, is a very famous, by a very famous artist, right? Guðmundur from Edda. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He, he was very... Yeah. 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 Kjarvals. Yeah, that artwork looks very nice. Yeah, and he was a very famous painter in Iceland, Kjarvals. And also mm. those birds from... It's a falcon made of Icelandic mud by Guðmundur from Edda. This one here? Yeah. Can you focus on that? Yeah, I am in my camera. Okay. <laughs> it, it was a kind of a living room for the students. You don't have to show me all the time. Just yeah. focus on the things because it's so nice to see it. Well, but I have a question, mother. Yeah. I know that 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 America use falcons a lot to win artwork and stuff like that. How is how we use falcons different from how Americans do it? They, they are they are free there. They are peace. We don't use falcons in Iceland. We just 
uh, let them to be wild and we do take care of them a lot because there are so few left. No, I mean, I mean when used in artwork. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, there are some samples like. Yeah. I say found them all from that. Yeah, 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 yeah. In flat, you don't use it so much. I'm, I am talking about that. Yeah. No, we are not using it. Yeah. Or we don't use it much in stuff like flats no. and stuff like that. No, but a statue like this was very popular. I see. All right, I think I think we have recorded enough from this room. What do you think? Yeah, or you need to take a make it very good now. You have to get so much. English, please. No. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. He said this is enough. Here. Okay, he will... Wow. Yeah, actually, I would show this dress because it's uh, I get nostalgia when I see it. <laughs> this is something the students might yes to learn to do. But they have given it to the, wow. to the museum. Wow. This looks like a baby clothes. Yes. yes. The students yes. made it when they were in school. Yes. Interesting. And afterwards they gave it to the museum. That right. is very valuable. M m m most of it is made by hand, but this is made by machine. Ah, knitting machine. Yeah. Wow. And this, wow. they, they have from uh, persons, uh -huh. they, this they have one year and next year they got uh, land for it. Yes, from other. One, one year from some people and next year from other people. To, to learn to do it. Or no, to to show it. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, those but were nurses from here or what? <laughs> no. No. Thus, <laughs> They were in this when they were in the kitchen and ah, working. Wow. Yeah. And they learned to, you should learn this. They learned to do the houseworks. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, don't, this is don't go into the, personal stuff, please. Okay. This is the uh, history of the school from 1879. And here you have pictures of the uh, people who uh, were leading in the school from first to last. Nice. Very nice. And I that is uh, the house what was before this. Mm -hmm. it, it burned <gasps> 1911. Mm -hmm. And That's next year, 1912. They have built this big house here. Wow! That's very nice. Yes. Oh. And this is so typical. Yes. They use it. Yeah. The, the, the people who made those clothes are true artists. Yes. <laughs> it's a, it's a art. Yeah. It's a Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, one room more here. All right. Uh, pieces from uh, the kitchen and the dining room. Look at this table, it's so <laughs> small but so enough. Look at this table, it's so small but so enough. Ah, we're going to have a little bit of 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 a little Oh, right, right, right. You remember, we have one like this at home. I, I see. As a decoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this looks like a very old radio. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have some Yeah, look at this. This oh, is... And after it, this uh, were not this. This is not Icelandic, but it, it was used here. Ah, uh, I see. And we have one like this at home, yes. which I got from my mother. <laughs> she was born in 1928. Mm -hmm. And this is very similar to the Le Croset hmm. pots that are very popular now. Yeah, yeah. This, it's very similar, but we are not using this yet. Uh, what's this? Stryo. Where is the Ramax? Wow! <laughs> it is hot. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. To cut the slices of the bread. Yes. Okay. It's a sugar. This was a sugar machine. Oh. This is Jón uh, uh, from from Akur. Já, okay. Father of Jón. Nei. Grandfather. Grandfather of Johanna. Exactly, yeah. What exactly did he do? He was in the uh, school and then. A committee of the school. Yes. I see. Was he, he, a... he gave it here himself. So he was the founder of the school? No, he was in the committee. Oh, I see. Yeah, and supported the school. And he was on the Althing, I think. Yeah. yeah. Hvað er aftur alþingi, Bjarni? Ó, oh, parliament. Parliament. parliament, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here are the oldest picture of, from uh, uh, students. That what? we have yet. What? From the from the first time there are not picture from every year. Ah. And th these are the oldest and the school be here before this house. I see. <laughs> Wow. Those, those photos, oh I can't tell that those photos are old. They are from the 19th century. Yeah, but I think this video is getting enough, right? Because we have, we are going to other places today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think the video has gone on for long enough. Yeah. This clip has gone no, I've shown enough for this building, I agree. I know that my mother said in the last clip that we would stop, but but as this is the the founder of the school, I think. I th Okay, she was she's still a principal therefore. It's important to record this. Elin. He was leader here four times. Four times he, he came here and were leading the school. Oh, I see. So she was the principal of it. It's interesting. Yeah. Well. And that's her f furniture. I see. Very beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. And there are also a lot of great artworks here. Yeah, this is from by Kervas, who was a very famous painter. Gift, this is also a gift from students. Yeah. I see. All right. I think I have recorded enough for now. What yeah, it? it's nice. It has been very nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it has. Mm -hmm. She was uh, heat mistress of the school from 1880 to 81, 83 to uh, 95, 9, 1901 to 3, and 1912-15. So, uh, it was from the uh, second year when the school was. You can li uh, li read it here. Oh, yeah. There's First one, time. There's one last thing that I want to say before I leave. I just want to say thank you for showing me all that stuff. It's, it's all been fantastic, so thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Okay, now we're done in this building for real. We are now at Borgarvirki. Yes. Should I tell you something about Borgarvirki? Yes, go ahead. Can you take care of that? This is like this. Okay. Okay, okay hi. Uh, this, now we are at Borgarvirki in Vast, Vastnes, I think. It's believed to be a defensive, sportive, physication dating from the early years of Icelandic history after settlement around, nice. around 870 till 1030.
but it's not really known what this is all about. But I'm not going to read all this text, but it's a historical area. Yeah. Here's a picture of it above. And then we will hike there. Nice. Okay. Wow. Nei, han er i bandi. Wow. Ég er, skil þig, en ég hef hann í ólatlan tíma. There are fucking rocks everywhere. Yeah, it's a man-made. Man-made? I think so. Yeah. Oh, so it's not part of the nature, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a volcano, stone, rocks. But probably the Vikings didn't build it. I see, interesting. Very. <laughs> so, yeah. This looks very damn nice. Molly, come Very damn nice indeed. Now, this guy knows more about this place than I do, so I'm gonna ask him what exactly is this place? It's an old fortress. I see. Well, nobody knows who built it. Most like maybe Iris or the Vikings. So, I see. Yeah. And it's left built of very heavy stones. Some of them weighed up to three tons. So it has been a very strong people working here. I see, that's interesting. Yeah, so what is this place called? Borgavirki. That means... Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, those ro rocks look wonderful. Yeah, it's... It's an old crater from a volcano. It's, it's a volcano, old volcano. Was it built around the same time that Ingolar Nelson was alive? Ah, that's a good question. Um, maybe before. I think it's much longer before. Oh. I, think, I think it by Irish people. Oh, so it was it before Ingolar Nelson visited the country? Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, the, what I'm going to show now is this. So, there's something special about this. What is it? This is a wall, man made wall, uh, many hundred years ago, I think, at least from the settlement when the Vikings were here. Um, it's a very, very interesting place, Borgarvirki. I think it's more like fucking thousand. Yeah, maybe. And what is what is so interesting, they made this and they do have a very good view around this area. So yeah. you should show them the Western Home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is a nice area indeed. Yes. Alright, now I'm at the Seal Museum, I think. Yeah. I forgot to read a read about the piece and then give information based on what I read. Yeah, I am going to do that in a bit. Which I forgot in other parts. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you around this museum. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think it's right to swear here. Yeah. Those birds look fucking awesome. Wow. And I mean, wow. This museum is surprisingly small. 
In fact, it's the smallest machine that I know of. Alright, this is obviously a gun. Alright. Uh, what the hell, I'll read. The Harper seal is the most common seal around Iceland. It resides mainly around the northwestern coast. The Harper seal can get up to 2 meters long and weight at 100 kilograms. I don't feel like fucking transferring this to miles so you, or feet. You, so, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. In June, the female gives birth to one pup. All birth, the pup is covered in grey hair. It's usually around 80 centimeters long and can weigh close to 10 kilograms. The female natures the pup for three till four weeks but after it has to take care of itself in August the adults shed their hairs and the mating season begins after mating the harper seal move to scars and small ripples further to shore to look for food the food supply which is of Fish such as small cod, redfish, baitfish, coalfish, herring, catfish, and various catfish. Mm, that's very interesting. So there's of course a lot of text to read here. But I'm not here to record stuff, I'm here to show you the museum. So yeah. Seemingly, there is no attentive preamble to copulation among seals. The whole process looks more like a battle. When the bull has taken hold of a cow, it does not release its grip until it has finished mating. As for the common seal, the grace of the enemy stops developing in the womb after four weeks. Three months later, it begins to grow again, and seven months after that, the cow is ready to give birth. That makes a total of 11 months from conception to birth. In its natural habitat, the seal is agile and graceful. Seals feed mainly on fish. Their teeth are much like that of a dog, well shaped for catching and holding its prey. This breed of catfish is common in the shallows and provides an easy catch. To achieve full growth, accumulate the necessary layer of fat, and maintain a high level of energy, seals need to eat a great deal. It's been estimated that an adult grey seal has to consume about 20 kilograms per day. Interesting. It's difficult to say whether this seal has a special dislike for skin but it removed it before it ate the flesh. Alright, I think I have shown you enough. I wish I could record more, but like I said, this is a very small museum, so I'll just leave it at that. So this place is very special, it has a lot of arctic... What's the fucking name of these birds again? Arctic something? Hey mom, mother! Do you know remember the name of those birds? Uh, Arctic. I the sense of the Wait, yeah, it's I, I Ar can Ar better. Arctic something. I already have started. Okay. This is all instrument. I must have Yeah, look at them. They're very angry because they're taking care of their young birds. And the place? Uh, small it has to be. Okay, you know. Yeah, it's so fucking beautiful to see those arctic, har arctic something. I don't. Arctic birds, I think it's the name. You do like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are some. 
Oh yeah, I looked up the name. They are Arctic Terns. Okay. They look actually pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. But you have to be extremely careful about those because those could attack. But I'm not afraid they will attack me. They haven't yet. I'm not afraid of them. But yeah, yeah they could attack or even shift on you, so you have to be careful about that. Oh, and I... I don't even talk about this. This. Okay. This. Actually, it tastes very fucking delicious. Yeah, those are airport. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna eat one right now. Yep, I record myself eat. Mmm, delicious. Anyway, yeah. There's nothing else to say, so let's just move on.